Hi, this is Jim Hensel in Portland, Oregon. I am going to show you how I built my own uh, solar pathfinder. So I started out with a piece of scrap wood. This happens to be uh, three quarters of an inch thick, so it's a one by material. It's nine inches uh, wide and it's a foot long, but you could use plywood or anything else. Um, I then took a piece of uh, quarter inch material, uh, you can see here, and uh, cut a radius uh, sorry, a diameter of seven inches uh, out of it, and you can see that I I uh, um, offset the circle so that it actually uh, didn't uh, didn't complete itself here. So this uh, this piece of wood is uh, seven and a quarter uh, this direction, uh, and there's about an inch uh, up here. So it it, uh, it it creates this nice little gap here, and that'll be important in a minute. So that's a seven inch uh, diameter circle. Um, I then uh, glued and stapled that uh, or screwed it, you could do it, or nailed it, however you wanted, to this board. I've, but before I did that, I, uh, I don't know if you can see here, there's a line that runs the width here that is, is or the length of this board, which is the center line for this board. I uh, I then took the remnants of this circle and cut a piece that looks like this. So that uh, this is uh, six inches in uh, diameter here, and it then fits into here because, of course, I cut it out, and so um, I now have something that looks a little bit like a horseshoe shape. On the back side, I took a piece of aluminum. I didn't want to use steel because there's going to be a compass involved with this. I took a piece of aluminum. You can see it's just a raggedy uh, piece. Drilled four holes and screwed it to this board. I also uh, tapped a quarter inch uh, national course uh, hole here with and threaded it with the tap uh, so that I can screw this onto a regular old camera tripod. I did drill a a uh, half inch hole behind this hole in the wood, oh maybe uh, uh, three eighths of an inch deep, so that the uh, if the if the uh, tripod bolt that would go into this hole happened to go be uh, longer than the thickness of this material, that it wouldn't hit the wood. That it, there'd be an, a, an area there for it. So then how to use, or how to, the rest of the way here, I'm going to turn this around so that it's away from me. Um, I bought from Solar Pathfinder this uh, uh, template, and this is for my latitude. And so it sits in here, and, and it's the, the one that was 7 inches. And I've actually installed, I don't know if you can see it there, a, a uh, pin on the uh, center line so that this can rotate uh, around uh, on, that, on that center line. And uh, up here, the line, the center line that I drew on this board extends above because there's a uh, declination, magnetic declination adjustment that needs to happen. In our case, we're 16 degrees east, and so I can turn it uh, 16 degrees. And uh, then, I did also bought from uh, Solar Pathfinder this uh, dome. In hindsight, I think you could probably use any dome. Uh, I've seen some other YouTube videos where people look like they've used uh, glass lids from uh, pots. Um, but I bought this dome, dome from them. And it goes on uh, as well here. And then this little retaining piece retains the two together. And so there you have uh, a now a solar pathfinder. Uh, I made some oops, made some clips on the side here out of aluminum that just can turn slightly. I'll show you those in just a second. So you can see uh, if I can get this uh, light right. You can see this clip and you can see this clip. So that holds this ring in place. So now the whole thing is not going anywhere. So now this would be mounted on a uh, tripod using this uh, tripod mount here. And the tripod and this would need to be uh, level. 
and uh, my tripod has a, uh, a bubble level on it so I can uh, level the, the head of the tripod before I screw this on. It, you could also go to a uh, RV a recreational vehicle supply store and then for three or four dollars they would sell you a, uh, a bubble level that uh, levels all four directions at once. And then uh, a, a compass can sit back here and you can rotate this uh, so that the the line that run on the board runs uh, due south and then uh, take a picture from above uh, which I've uh, taken one that I'll include uh, at the end of this video um, so my intention is to use this to help me locate uh, bee yards so that I can adjust the location as best I can to maximize the sun I'm interested in morning sun and less interested in afternoon sun uh, but I'd like more sun than less, so there you have my uh, my homemade uh, solar pathfinder. It was the two parts. Uh, uh, I bought three or four of these sheets, and the dome plus shipping was about twenty-five dollars from uh, Solar Pathfinder. Uh, there you go. Enjoy. So here's the uh, center line that I've been talking about. You can see it running through and on on through all the way. And then uh, I have a compass here that I'm going to put on that line. And then I have lined up the needle uh, so that it's uh, on the line. Maybe it would make it a little better if I did that. Like that. So uh, I've also, up here, you can see that I've set it for 16 degrees east declination. So that south actually is, is more off this direction. Uh, true south. Um, so, just to back up a little bit, here's what the whole thing looks like. <laughs>